What is up guys, Julian Mikkel here of Social Vignerons, welcome back to another wine video. Today we are going to be looking at how to pronounce the names of all the top premier crus, the first crus, the top top ranking wines of Bordeaux, names you should really know about, you should really nail the pronunciation of. We are going to be looking at the Saint-Emilion's, the Pomerol's, the Poyac, the Margot and the Sauternes, all the very very top wine estates of Bordeaux. Let's go! So first you have to know that the term first gross in French is named Premier Grand Cru. Premier being the name, the French name for number one ranking wines of course. So here we are going to be looking through the first gross of the 1855 classification but not only we are also going to be looking at the first gross of Saint-Emilion as well as some of the top estates of Pomerol later on in the video. So let's start off with the 1855 classification. First comes Chateau Aubryon, a wine located in the Pessac Léonien appellation just south of Bordeaux. In fact Chateau Aubryon is located right in the urban area of the Bordeaux city. It's surrounded by buildings and houses around the urban area of Bordeaux. It's actually quite striking. But the terroir here is the terroir of Grave making some of the best best wines in the Bordeaux area. A little bit north and one of the most famous of all first growths in the 1855 classification is Chateau Margaux. Some refined, very elegant, floral, dense and silky wines from the Margaux appellation. I actually made a presentation video. I'll link up to this video right here, up right here. Then comes a little bit north, still in the Medoc, Chateau Lafitte Rothschild in the appellation of Poyac. Chateau Lafitte Rothschild. In French you would say Chateau Lafitte Rothschild. Then its neighbor Chateau Mouton Rothschild. Also in the appellation of Poyac Chateau Mouton Rothschild. Chateau Mouton Rothschild. Note that Chateau Mouton Rothschild was added to the 1855 classification some 118 years later in 1973. Then comes still in Poyac, a tiny bit north from the Rothschild chateaus, Chateau Latour, still in Poyac, Chateau Latour, or in French, Chateau Latour. Then we are going all the way south, very south of Bordeaux, the king of sweet dessert Botrytis wines, made from grapes that are attacked and that are affected with a noble rot, that what is called a noble rot, which is a fungi that concentrates the flavors and the sugars in the wine, Chateau Dikem, in the appellation of Sauternes, Chateau Dikem. Note that many call it Chateau Ikem, which is a tiny bit incorrect. It, you would normally have a D apostrophe, Dikem, Chateau Dikem. Then let's move on to the right bank in the appellation of saint Emilion. So you have to know that the wines of Saint-Emilion have been classified uh, several times and the classification of the wines of Saint-Emilion has been updated several times over the course of history. I will make a separate video about the classification of the wines of Saint-Emilion, so stay, tu stay tuned to the channels for this. Cheval Blanc, comment définir ce cru? But Chateau Cheval Blanc has always been classified as a premier cru classé a, some of the premier clues of class A's, but as the letter B, so slightly lesser, lesser quality. But Chateau Cheval Blanc has always been classified as a premier Grand Cru class A, including in the latest appellation in 2012, Chateau Cheval Blanc. The other most famous Saint-Emilion wine is Chateau Ozone, named after a Latin poet, Chateau Ozone. Then comes two estates that were upgraded in the latest 2012 classification of the wines of Saint-Emilion. They came from Premier Cru Class A, first growth but category B, to first growth category A, together with Cheval Blanc and Ozone. Those are Chateau Pavi and Chateau Angelus. Chateau Angelus. Then Next to Saint-Emilion is probably the most famous and one of the best appellations in Bordeaux, 
making some of the most most expensive wines in Bordeaux one of the tiniest appellations of Bordeaux as well and the most prestigious one of the very very very, very most expensive of Bordeaux wines tiny tiny production Merlot based Petrus note that Petrus is not a chateau it doesn't bear the name chateau you just have to say Petrus in French Petrus a neighbor of Petrus Chateau Le Pin Note that Pomerol wines have never been classified. There is no 1855 classification for Pomerol. There is no younger classification of the wines of Pomerol. That said, Le Pin, together with Petrus, is high above everyone else in terms of pricing, in terms of quality, and in terms of recognition, at least so many experts say. This is why it is classified in this list. Chateau Le Pin in Pomerol. In French, you would say Pomerol. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. It only takes one second, but it helps me producing more and more interesting wine content for you. If you're wondering about the classification of the wines of Saint-Emilion, I will make a separate video, especially on these. If you're wondering about the 1855 classification, what it's all about, what its history, what it came about, and is it still valid today, I made an entire explanation video and I'll link to it right here. Otherwise, I will see you soon in the wine world. Have a look around my YouTube channel. There are quite a few chateaus that are explored, that I've been to, and there are quite a few videos about the chateaus, Chateau Margot, Chateau Mucho, Rothschild, and the likes on this channel. Have a look around. Otherwise, I will see you soon in the world of wine. Cheers.